Hi, welcome to this guide. This is going to be a video just about an archway installation like the all-in-one for bias. That's one big video where we install everything from A to Z without explanations. Well, very short, very brief. There are other tutorials in here with all information you need. But this is going to be an Arch UFI installation. So we are going to follow this guide and this guide is this guide. And there's one thing you need to know and that's uh, we're installing a virtual box. That means that we have to enable EFI special OSs only. Otherwise, this uh, tutorial will not work. You will not be able to boot. Then we are looking at this. And when we're looking at this, then you know we have booted an EFI. Then we just wait because this is going to take a little bit longer. I'm going to pause till we see something. This is a little bit longer in EFI. It's uh, normal. It's an experimental. Um, still experimental this EFI in uh, VirtualBox but let's follow the rules so the rules meaning the guidelines and the first thing we need is my Azerti keys because I am on a Azerti keyboard and otherwise things go really slow or even wrong so load keys dash yes Latin one now with my Azerti keys and we scroll along on the right side of my other screen not checking the EFI because I know it's correct. Connecting to internet, I know I have internet. And then we're up to time, date, CTL, set, NTP. Let's say true. So sync and my time and date. Then it's up to CF disk. We have uh, UFI, meaning we need to che choose, or uh, choose not, but choose GPT. And then the free space. Let's give 550 megabytes to the type of EFI system. Then we give 10 gigabytes, we can do it like so as well, to swap, which is that one, and rest can be just Linux file system. So checking, that looks okay, right, yes. And since it's so important, we better check that it is okay. So SDA has been sliced into three partitions. Great. Next up is formatting. So we're scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. And the next part is a way down. And formatting the partitions is next up. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to format the minus F32 device SDA1. That's our EFI that needs to be fat. Then we're gonna make our swap on device SDA2. Right. Swap on on device SDA2. Yes. And then make the file system extension 4 to device SDA3. Enter. Okay, then it's up to mounting the file systems, and that's a little bit more than in a bias. We mount our device, device SDA3 inside MMT, nothing special there. Then we're going to make something special a directory inside mount, and we're going to mount our device inside that newly created directory, which is situated there. Check. So that's that. Installation, select the mirrors, that's the next thing. Nano etc. Pac-Man Demon Pac-Man D mirror list. I know that Brazil is a bit far from Belgium, Italy the same, but Luxembourg is great. So I'm gonna keep Luxembourg, Control X if you want it, yes, enter. That's done. Next is our pack strap. So we're going to finally install something on our MMT. What are we going to install? Base and base development. There we go. That takes a little bit longer. Next up is configure the system. FS step, scrolling down already. I'm ready for a generating a file system table on my system.
So it's important to choose from which server to download because that will tell you what speed and what speed you will download. Not the installation, that's, that's okay, but the download speed depends on the Arch server. Number one of 13, number two of 13. Okay, almost there, fingers are ready. Generate me a file system table and minus U and check out this folder and write whatever you find inside etc fs tab. Check. This is so important, you better check out if that's correct. That is slash boot swap. That is correct. All right, moving along, scrolling down, Shroot. Very important you read up about uh, this Shroot thing. It's very powerful. You can fix your system if you are in problem with a, of an unbootable hard disk or whatever problem you have. You can always Shroot into your uh, system and fix things. So we want a time zone minus S and we're gonna force it to be user share zone info in Europe and Brussels etc local time local time enter. The hardware clock is going to be set to the system clock to the hardware clock sys to hardware clock okay that's done scroll 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 locally we want to have american us so locale dot gen right whoops wrong did something wrong control x go back go back so nano etc Locale dot gen. One, two, three, four, five. This is the one I want. Control X, yes, gone. Generate me on basis of that the locale that's generated, and then we need to edit some stuff that maybe you do not need. So this one you need to do, but not the second one, that's the key map. So you need to have a language, utf-8, and write it away inside etc locale.conf. Checking hyphen spaces underscores, yep. And then maybe you don't need to do this one. So key map, be Latin, normally it's standard US inside etc v .conf. check 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 mm -hmm. no typos it's always important to check and to recheck because well it's quickly a mistake and then there will be consequence simple as that so then we have um, to give the system here a name and we're going to pick, put this name in etc host name enter and then a longer exercise nano etc hosts and up 127000 one local host local hosts localhost whoops not correct arch linux local domain arch linux and save again scrolling down network configuration you probably want to go internet so you better install the network manager And if you forget to activate it, you won't have 
internet. So you need to enable and write this correct capital with another capital and then you have three lines. If you see the three lines, you did it correctly. In it RAMFS, no need to do that anymore. We need to set the password for the root, which is this one and that one. So that's done. Then we need to do our bootloader. And the bootloader is a bit more specific compared with BIOS. We need prop, right, but also EF boot manager. And let's install both. Then a somewhat longer way to install grub. We need to tell him that the target is equals x86 underscore 64 dash EFI and that the EFI directory directory is inside boot. No typos allowed, of course. So rechecking. Very important part here. And then the grub, let's make configuration for grub. And we need to tell him to put that in boot grub grub.config. Done. Scrolling down, fix for virtual box. Aha, we're on virtual box. So we need to do it, otherwise you don't have to do it. But we need to do it, EFI, oops. So EFI, we are making a directory with this command. And then we're gonna copy boot EFI. Let's see what we have. We have arch and boot now, and inside we have group. I'm gonna copy that to boot EFI boot and we're going to give it another name, boot x, boot x64 dot EFI, dot EFI. Let's recheck, boot, okay, gone. So that's done, we just copied and gave it another name. Exiting an amount of U-mount, we say unmount, but we type U-mount, it's a bit confusing. With one more letter, wouldn't mind us to have an unmount rather than a U-mount, but hey, that's history. Now we can do a reboot or a shutdown. I prefer to do a shutdown now because of VirtualBox. Um, again, but then now. So I can get rid of my ISO. When I get rid of my ISO and I reboot, then I will see my grub. And otherwise, I'll see my ISO again. Rebooting would have worked as well, but I mean, when you really shut down and you leave the ISO in, then you get it, you see the ISO. So I'm scrolling down, I'm just scrolling down, I'm now in next step. So I am in this article, sixth actual installation of Arch Linux phase two, and I'm following that one further along the route. Meaning, they say, why don't you add yogurt? So that means nano etc pacman.conf and a bit later we're gonna activate multilib. So while I'm going down here, I'm gonna delete these two hashtags. So that's done already. And then we have to scroll down because I don't know really out of heart to know it. Uh, so Linux for because it's very important to type everything the way it must be. Big S, big L, space, equals, big N. So all important. Big S, space, equals, and so on. So really pay attention on how everything is typed. And then slash dollar arch. Control X. Yes, save me this bunch. Pacman minus SY. Arch Linux is in there. Do you see the line? And I'm going to install Yahoo because that's the fun stuff is on the AUR. And then I'm going to go back up. I'm going to say now we can forget about Arch Linux fro so we don't mix repos. We don't know. We only want Yahoo. That's it. Scrolling down, multi-lib repository is done. 
then scrolling down bash completion okay right if you don't have bash completion you can't press tab and then you don't have the auto completion of your uh, well commands so now we have if we reboot personal account yes i really want to have my eric account so user at minus m minus g users users no typos again here so the audio group in here the video group in here network group in here wheel and storage and we're going to give him the shell bin bash could have given myself zsh if i wanted now and now we're going to give the password to eric like so so that's done already then we need to give eric the pseudo rights and how do we do that we type editor equals nano so i am going to use a nano editor visudo one two down and then you delete this hashtag space control x yes safe done you can exit now and we can log in as Eric and log in as Eric. And if sudo pacman minus s yyu works, then we have sudo rights. So that's done. That works. I am now at the bottom of phase two. So I'm going to say next step, phase three. We need to have some kind of graphical stuff, you know. A desktop would be nice. So minus s xorg server xorg apps xorg xinit and xterm you will thank me later if you don't have a terminal that you will at least have the x terminal. so we're scrolling down and what do we see what's next up next up is actually graphical drivers which is uh, not necessary at the moment and virtual box so we are scrolling all the way down to light dm pseudo pacman minus s light dm we also need light dm gtk and why not light dm gtk greeter setting so now we have everything we ever could have wanted concerning our display or login manager if you forget this little line nothing will happen and you will stay in terminal sudo system ctl enable light dm dot service you have to see this line it must be there then we need to reboot but before we do that's uh, the next step before we do we need to decide what um, well desktop we want we need to install a desktop so there are lots of things you can install you can say arch wiki desktop maybe you know desktop environment fine a list of this all these desktop environments you can install budgie cinnamon deeping enlightenment gnome gnome flash black kd plasma lxd lxqt made sugar XV, and even more even more there are even more that we will cover in arco linux d that are not in here okay so assuming assuming we want to install mate this time why not mate so yeah let's keep a look at first here so the mate group is going to do la experience and mate extra as well so mate and mate extra all right so sudo pacman minus s how easy is it to install a desktop just follow the wiki say they install this thing that thing that thing it's gonna cost us 852 megabytes to install a complete desktop environment we got some information here if you're stuck you see okay menu editor mozo file manager kaja window manager marco text editor pluma image i have made i have gnome actually it used to be probably events events is atrial and the file roller is in grandpa some more information additional packages made tweak is there maintenance stable 
some audio stuff, networking. So you just keep reading ArchWiki. Pseudo reboot. Let's see what we get out of the box if we install Mate. Fail to start session. Let's have a look. It's not installed. Um, but let's see what, what went wrong. So, Alt, Control, F2. Let's go inside. Let's see what I did last time. Uh, okay, that looks correct. Let's see what... Okay, we have a problem with the keys. So you do pseudo pacman, which is good that it's included in this video. Arch Linux keyring, that's all you need to know. And you're saved. Bye bye problems. Isn't Arch beautiful? That means that not only Arch is beautiful, but Antegos is beautiful, Manjaro is beautiful, Arch Labs is beautiful, Arco Linux is beautiful, and all Arch based systems. They all work on the same principle, the same, uh, well, Arch system. They're configured differently, repos are different, settings are different, but it's all Arch. All right, so the reboots. Error the first time. Ta da! And there we have it. You have Mate here. This is already pre installed, so let's have a quick look. So archive manager, calculator, font viewer, search, pluma text, take screenshots, graphics, that one, internet, okay, normal, actual mate, sound system tools, stuff like terminal, the system monitor, those are special from, and this of course is special as well, all the men menus to get things done, and the control center. So this is your... Um, well, first look, if you install Mate, then this is your system. Concluding the video here.